Hannah Bernsteiner is a mother of two who runs a restaurant next to the Schlachtensee Lake in Berlin. She has multiple sclerosis. It was December 2019 when I noticed that I suddenly couldn't see anymore. I was seeing double. My vision was blurry. It was especially bad when I was driving. It was like I was drunk. My whole left side was paralyzed. I couldn't grip things. I couldn't really walk properly. I was limping. Couldn't lift my leg. I had bad skin irritations. My skin was super sensitive. When I washed my hair, I could feel every single drop of water on my scalp. I was in a bad way. After several MRI scans, Hannah's doctor told her the diagnosis. I was definitely shocked and I couldn't really classify it at first because I had heard of MS before, but of course I had never really dealt with it. What causes multiple sclerosis has been a mystery to medical science. But that may be about to change. A study published in the journal Science found that people with an Epstein-Barr virus infection, that's a herpes virus, were 32 times more likely to go on to develop MS than those without one. The study was massive. It spanned 20 years and involved more than 10 million people. We studied a large population of uh, healthy young individuals uh, that were not infected with EBD. They were EBD negative at the beginning of the study and we followed them all, all, over many years. And what we found that those who do not get infected with EBV uh, do not get MS, they're protected from MS. This is a pretty compelling that EBV is causing MS. The research could lead to a vaccine against MS. There is none at the moment. It could lead to new treatments too. Treatments at the moment aren't perfect. One of the most effective therapies involves suppressing part of a person's immune system and that can leave them vulnerable to infections. But Epstein-Barr virus provides a different target for therapeutics. In the future, it may be possible to treat a mace and achieve a more radical cure with an oral antiviral. That could spell a big change in the quality of life for people like Hannah. Results as clear-cut as this are a rarity in medical science. Now the focus will be on how the research is used.